everyone, it's Froggy, and I'm back again with another episode of Mystic Messenger. So, we've got a missed chat room here called Another Level of Salvation with Jehe. Seven star drink? Now I dread a report from the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. Or should I dread an investigation by the Financial Supervisory Service due to an unfair trade price? I was offered a religion from the same strange men on my way home today. At first, they looked like they were asking for directions, so I helped them. But then they suddenly blurted out that my soul was flooded with sorrow and agony. That's when I started to feel that something's not right. They encouraged me to heed the scream of a soul oppressed and claimed that, that only a salvation can cure this phenomenon. The thing is, they looked completely ordinary on the surface. I thought these bizarre religions have been on hiatus, but it appears they're back and terribly flourishing. Don't you think we need some actions regarding the forced faith upon someone else? So I hope all of you to watch yourself when a stranger suddenly talks to you in the middle of the street. Jakey, hey! Welcome, you sung. Salvation. Salvation, huh? <laughs> You son? Jehe? I think I've been saved. Pardon? Don't tell me. Did those people also talk about their religion to you? Did you follow them? Nope. I just found salvation inside the monitor. No way. You're not trying to order the seven star drink, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> then what is it? Oh, it's really nothing. I found this game called Lol. -la. <laughs> game? Are you talking about games so suddenly? I don't know who did it, but it was downloaded on my computer when I got back. How can you not know who did it? Automatically? Yes. Isn't it a virus? Who cares? I had fun, so I don't care. I decided to just think of it as somebody's gift to console my heart in agony. You sung, you've mistaken a virus for a gift? They even sent me a free skin in commemoration of the grand opening. First of all, the style of the battle is so new. I get so upset when I'm losing. I almost crushed my keyboard back there. Oh dear. On the other hand, I'm so thrilled when I'm winning. <laughs> I'm so touched that somebody actually made a game like this. Perhaps you do need games right now. But of course, I thought of Rika again when I finished playing. I think time is your solution. Will I get better after some time? I'm still in agony, though I'm temporarily better when I'm playing games and forget my worries. Ugh, I'm getting depressed again. I feel so bad for Rika. Maybe I should have gone to see her parents. I might find out something else about her. You sung. Why don't you try playing games some more? Oh, which reminds me. She used to talk about salvation in the past. Rika did. I don't remember what exactly she said. Her words were kind of difficult to understand. But she said that salvation in some point of view is being happy. In the perspective of a person to be happy. She said that there's no definite standard of happiness. I see. I agree. I wonder what is this salvation? The strangers you met were talking about, Jehi. I've only heard very small portion of what they've got. But I could tell that it was nowhere near good. They even said that they have to sometimes force salvation upon people. Isn't that dangerous? It is. I hope someone would please do something about them. Rika made a lot of people happy through the RFA. But she said that we should do better. Since there are more people in agony. If she were alive, she would have continued the true salvation, right? Yes. And now we should continue that job for her. Yes. You know, I wish that I could have had more opportunity to know more about her. Oh, right. You weren't really close to her. But I do remember that she was a strong and extraordinary person. Rika, it pains me to think about her. Should I go play games? That's one option, but... Oh. There's this doctor I know. Why don't you try phone counseling? A doctor? He's famous for neuro... Psychiatry, and he has a very peculiar sense of fashion. 
It's rather difficult to give a definite title for him. When I met him, he was wearing a full body suit with a leopard print inside his gown. But I can guarantee that he's talented. I'm just gonna play games and refresh myself. I don't think I need counseling. Is that so? Oh, why don't you invite him to the party? That's a good idea. I would have asked Mila if she were here. Oh. Oh! I think Lolo's server is back from maintenance. Oh, I hope you'll feel better playing games. I want to see you back to your cheerful self. <laughs> I'll try. Now see ya. It's good that he found something to relieve his stress, but I'm worried that he might play too much. I heard that evasion is one option to deal with your sorrow. If you can't face it, I hope yi Sung will return to us, bright and cheerful. Before I head to bed, I should look for something that might help him. Other than the counseling with that doctor, I hope I can find something. Now, I'll leave. Hmm. And so begins yi Sung's addiction. Ooh, fancy. Go 아까는 꽃송이가 너무 크다는 말씀이셨죠. 역시 한 주민 눈에 자랑 각도기가 달려 있는 것 같다니까요. 여러 번 조정해 주셔서 고마워요. 사실 이 꽃은 부이가 태양의 여인 3번 사진 찍을 때 썼던 꽃인데 알고 있습니다. 수선화 꽃다발을 안고 있는 니카 씨 사진이지 않습니까? 아, 부끄럽지만. 맞아요. 저도 주민이가 그런 부분까지 신경 쓸 줄은 몰랐어요. 제이 씨, 마무리는 제가 할 테니 조금이라도 쉬시는 게 어때요? 계속 전화하시고 뛰어다니느라 바쁘셨잖아요. 아닙니다. 제가 더 도울 일이 있다면 지금 말씀해 주세요. 며칠 동안 제대로 잠도 못 주무셨죠? 회사 일 쪽도 바쁘신 것 같던데 맞나요? 그렇긴 합니다만 전부 중요한 일이니까요. 거기까지 신경 쓰지 않으셔도 괜찮습니다. 아니요. 신경 쓸 거예요. 제이 씨도 소중한 우리 RF의 멤버잖아요. 제이 씨에겐 일이 아닌 다른 소중한 것이 필요할 것 같아요. 일 말고 소중한 거요? 그게 RFA가 되면 좋을 텐데. 시간이 지나면 그렇게 될 거라 생각합니다. 제이 씨는 주민이가 거의 반강제로 가입시킨 거나 마찬가지잖아요. 제이 씨가 자발적으로 RFA에 들어오셨다면 제이 씨에게 더 소중한 의미가 될 수도 있었을 거예요. 모든 일은 의도와 목적이 가장 중요하죠. 말씀 고맙습니다. 제이 씨, 사실은 RFA 활동 업무의 연장으로 느껴지시죠? 어느 정도까지는 부정할 수 없군요. <웃음> 솔직하게 말해줘서 고마워요. 꼭 RFA가 아니더라도 제이 씨에게 소중한 무언가가 생기길 바래요. 사실 저에게도 일이 아닌 소중한 게 있긴 합니다. 정말요? 뭔지 물어봐도 될까요? 전 뮤지컬 배우 제인 씨의 팬입니다. 집에 초창기 DVD도 있을 정도로요. 뮤지컬 배우 제인... 저희 멤버 제인이요? 네, 그 제인 씨요. 와, 저도 제인 팬이에요. 저도 연극이나 뮤지컬을 보는 걸 좋아하거든요. 저도 제인을 팬으로서 처음 만났어요. 그땐 멤버가 되기 전이었죠. 그러셨군요. 그 이야기 나중에 더 해주실 수 있으신가요? 그럼요. 파티 끝나고 이야기해줄게요. 
그렇구나. 제이 씨에게 소중한 게 있어서 다행이에요. 무언가 좋아하고 빠진다는 것 자체가 소중한 거죠. 지금은 그것만으로도 멋져요. 그러다가 언젠가는 제이 씨의 내면이 말하는 소리를 들을 날도 올 거예요. 내면의 소리요? 네, 자연스럽게 들려올 거예요. 중요한 결정을 하고 싶을 때 들릴 거예요. 그때가 오면 주저하지 말고 실행에 옮기시길 바랄게요. 무슨 말씀이신지 아직 잘 모르겠습니다만 그렇군요. <웃음> 좀 난해한 이야기였죠? 이제 마저 정리해요. 둘이서 같이요. 네. 리카 씨의 내면의 소리는 무엇인가요? 네? 잘 이해하고 싶어서요. 저요? 제 내면의 소리. 민트색의 눈이라고 말했죠. 예쁘잖아요. 자, 제이 씨, 이쪽 좀 거들어 주시겠어요? 아, 네, 알겠습니다. 아, uh, okay, so we've got another chat room here called I Keep Thinking of You with Ray. <laughs> I just love that it's got the little music that comes with it, pizzicato or whatever. What brings you here at this hour? You're back! Yep, it's getting late. But you're not asleep yet. <laughs> I thought that you could be sleeping. I'm so glad that I can see you again. I'm a lucky man. Oh, that's gorgeous. Do you remember this flower, Mila? Oh, crud. Uh, that's the one we saw in the garden! That's the one we saw in the corridor in the garden? I knew you'd remember. I thought you found this flower particularly pretty, so I took a sneak peek. I hope you like it. I wished we could walk for longer, but the time would just fly away from us. Actually, I almost grabbed you when you were going into your room, without even realizing it myself. I would have been glad if you really did grab me. Um, I think you're too excited. I would have been glad if you really did grab me. You wanted me to do that, for real? I thought you'd freak out if I did that, so I was holding back. But there was no need for me to hold back. I'm so happy. But because it means that our hearts were in agreement, that you wanted to be with me some more too. When I close my eyes to get some sleep, I keep thinking about you back in the garden. I keep thinking if you're asleep, what kind of dream you're dreaming, and what you thought of our walk, stuff like that. I know I'm not supposed to think like this, but I wished... I could program your mind. I wish I could code your mind. So that you'll like me and only me. Um, I'd love to create a virtual world free from sadness and pain. And just stay there with you. We'll do only happy things every day where nothing bad can ever trespass. In my virtual world. I'd wish for nothing else if only we could be happy together. That sounds a bit creepy. It sounds like a dream. Yep, that's the world I dream of. I'm so happy that we're in agreement. I want to someday program that world. Even the idea of just the two of us makes me shiver with happiness. But it's only a dream. A fantasy that I can never grab. This is all just a ridiculous fantasy, isn't it? To be honest, I think I'm getting a little jealous reading your conversations with the AIs. I think it's because you're too happy and amazing. I think you could use your time for something better than those AIs. I would have had a hard time playing this game if it wasn't a game that you gave me to test. I think all the members of the RFA are fabulous. Oh, really? I see. Honestly, I don't know. It's a bit shocking that you think they're amazing, those idiots. They're all busy about the party, but they didn't even decide on a date yet. I don't think they're really organized. Or are they keeping the date a secret from you, since they don't believe you yet? Uh, I think they're making another secret behind my back. I'm sure V will tell me his plan. Um, I hope so. But you can never know. 
what that guy's thinking. His thoughts are so elusive. He has a lot of secrets. And he's also lied a lot. To keep them hidden. Watch yourself, Mila. Don't let him get to you. What do you think about the RFA party? This concept of helping somebody with fundraising through charity parties is actually all over the world. Outside the game, you know? I think it's a bit hypocritical. I think it's good that I get to help those in need. Yeah. That's what people say when they do that. But do you think it actually helps? I don't like such donation habit. I don't think that a one-time financial support can make a person completely happy. But that could be a gateway to salvation. No money can't solve everything. It could be a gateway to salvation. Oh, Mila. You sound like V. Sorry. He didn't brainwash you by any chance, did he? That AI may sound convincing, but his words are not completely true. Don't trust him too much, Mila. Even though the gateway is wide open, there are plenty of people that find themselves in greater misfortune in the end. They would be happy for a moment, but not for long. True salvation is not something that you can achieve with money. It can come true only when a person puts aside all stereotypes and wish a noble and pure wish to treat happiness as the topmost priority. And my AIs also hunger for salvation. But they're living very unstable lives, trapped in the stereotypes of reality. I think all the members of the RFA are somewhat nervous and unstable. But don't you think it's natural that they overcome their concerns and become better people? That's what the textbook or books on self-improvement would tell you. That you must overcome your current pain and difficulty by yourself. Then you can grow up into a better person. Those books aren't wrong, but do you think everyone is capable of growing and improving by themselves? Say, Yu Sung, for example. That AI is set to mourn the death of his precious, but is he really sad because of somebody's death? Or is he sad because death still remains a mystery to him? I think he has an inner problem. I think the period of unsteady anxiety is meaningful. It is for the sake of overcoming one's pain. Do you think time can save someone? What if people's misfortune stays forever? Don't you think someone has to save them? When a person is so fatigued that they can't even raise their hands, don't you think someone's got to grab and force them to rise if they have to? You should break free from your prejudice, Mila. Some people can't even hope for happiness. Those people need salvation, of course. I already have an algorithm ready to save AI Yusung. It's staying hidden, only because it's not the time yet. But you'll gradually find out in the future. I thought the purpose of this game was dating. Can I save everyone if I see the endings? Yeah. What happened to dating? Oh. Yeah, that's part of the game, but... Don't you think saving somebody is more worthy than dating somebody? You don't get to save somebody every day in your life, do you? Think about it, Mila. You can save Juman, the man who does not believe in love, Zen, nervous about his own worth, the redhead with what in the world identity, Yusung, who wants to live tucked in his safe zone while waiting for someone to make decisions for him, and Jaehee, who agonizes over the image her society wants from her. You'll get to save all of them. You'll release the happiness oppressed deep down in their hearts and make it come true. Well, Sounds fun, doesn't it? Alright, I'll play till the end. That is a happy ending, right? I'll play to the end. Yes, please do. You're the only one who can save those AIs. You won't get to change somebody's life out of this place. So please hold the party. If you hold the party, you can save countless people's suffering along with those AIs. Oh, by the way, Mila, what about you? Don't you feel sad, agonized, or nervous? Just like somebody else? Not really, I'm happy enough. Actually, yeah, sometimes. No, I'm happy enough. Really? You're a much better person than I am. So, maybe it's only natural that you're happy enough. But happiness has no limit. A person can be endlessly happy. 
I want to make you more happy in the days to come. In order to do that, you can become an official resident of this building. There is an enrollment procedure, though. Well, what do you think when you read this? What's the enrollment procedure? Well, uh, sure, I'll think about it. What's the enrollment procedure? Oh, nothing. You'll go through a ceremony that shows we are one. And plant a seed of happiness inside you. When that seed grows into a tree and bears fruit, that fruit will become your happiness. And when you become happy like that, I'll be happy too. It feels great talking to you about this. I really want you to become our resident ASAP. I think I'll like you even more if you become one. I hope we can find that day soon. I can hardly wait. Oh, I gotta go. The server is getting unstable suddenly. I can't let you lose connection while you're playing. I gotta fix this fast. When are you going to sleep, Mila? Now, I'm gonna stay up for a bit. I guess I'll go now. Okay. I hope you have a nice dream. I really enjoyed our walk yesterday. And our chat just now. Now, good night, my precious Mila. Oh, honey. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.